Pluto Solar System Why is Pluto not a solar system? Pluto is a complex world of ice mountains and frozen plains. Once considered the ninth planet, Pluto is the best known of a new class of worlds called dwarf planets. In this video, we will talk about why Pluto should or should not remain a planet. But before we begin, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for such amazing and informative videos. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union IAU, demoted the much-loved Pluto from its position as the ninth planet from the Sun to one of five dwarf planets. The IAU had likely not anticipated the widespread outrage that followed the change in the solar system's lineup. When the announcement was made, and even over ten years later, people around the world objected to the planet's demotion on principle, saying that it altered tradition and history rather than engaging with the scientific reasoning. So, what was the IAU's reason for demoting Pluto when it did? Why is Pluto no longer a planet? The main event of the 2006 General Assembly of the IAU, the proposal to demote Pluto, was a defining moment for the rest of the solar system as well. Fiercely debated by the members of the Union, the resolution that was passed officially defined the term planet. What was once a loose term used to describe a large object within the solar system is now specific. Planets are celestial objects large enough to be made round by their gravitational orbit around the Sun and to have shooed away neighboring planetary objects and debris. Pluto is now classified as a dwarf planet because, while it is large enough to have become spherical, it is not big enough to exert its orbital dominance and clear the neighborhood surrounding its orbit. Before the 2006 resolution, the term planet had no working definition and was based on a classification from before some of the major modern discoveries within the universe that were made possible by advances in technology. To many citizens of Earth, the demotion of Pluto felt like a break from tradition, and it was precisely that, a positive step forward into a new light, new knowledge, and changing perspectives of the universe. The International Astronomical Union IAU, downgraded the status of Pluto to that of a dwarf planet because it did not meet the three criteria the IAU uses to define a full-sized planet. Essentially, Pluto meets all the criteria except one. It has not cleared its neighboring region of other objects. A dwarf planet, as defined by the IAU, is a celestial body in direct orbit of the Sun that is massive enough that its shape is controlled by gravitational forces rather than mechanical forces, and is thus ellipsoid in shape. but has not cleared its neighboring region of other objects. So, the three criteria of the IAU for a full-sized planet are It is in orbit around the Sun. It has sufficient mass to assume hydrostatic equilibrium, a nearly round shape. It has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Pluto meets only two of these criteria, missing out on the third. In all the billions of years it has lived there, it has not managed to clear its neighborhood. You may wonder what that means, not clearing its neighboring region of other objects. Sounds like a minesweeper in space. This means that the planet has become gravitationally dominant. There are no other bodies of comparable size other than its own satellites or those otherwise under its gravitational influence in its vicinity in space. So, any large body that does not meet these criteria is now classed as a dwarf planet, and that includes Pluto, 
which shares its orbital neighborhood with Kuiper Belt objects such as the Plutons. The History of Pluto The object formerly known as the planet Pluto was discovered on February 18, 1930, at the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, by astronomer Clyde W. Tombaugh, with contributions from William H. Pickering. This period in astronomy was one of intense planet hunting, and Pickering was a prolific planet predictor. In 1906, Percival Lowell, a wealthy Bostonian who had founded the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, in 1894, started an extensive project in search of a possible ninth planet, which he termed, Planet X. By 1909, Lowell and Pickering had suggested several possible celestial coordinates for such a planet. Lowell and his observatory conducted the search until his death in 1916, but to no avail. Unknown to Lowell, on March 19, 1915, his observatory had captured two faint images of Pluto, but they were not recognized for what they were. Lowell was not the first to unknowingly photograph Pluto. There are 16 known pre-discoveries, with the oldest being made by the Yerkes Observatory on August 20, 1909. The search for Planet X did not resume until 1929, when the job was handed to Clyde Tomba, a 23-year-old Kansan who had just arrived at the Lowell Observatory. Tomba's task was to systematically image the night sky in pairs of photographs taken two weeks apart, then examine each pair and determine whether any objects had shifted position. Using a machine called a blink comparator, he rapidly shifted back and forth between views of each of the plates to create the illusion of movement for any objects that had changed position or appearance between photographs. On February 18, 1930, after nearly a year of searching, Tombaugh discovered a possible moving object on photographic plates taken on January 23 and January 29 of that year. After the observatory obtained further confirmatory photographs, news of the discovery was telegraphed to the Harvard College Observatory on March 13, 1930. The discovery made headlines across the globe. The Lowell Observatory, which had the right to name the new object, received over 1,000 suggestions from all over the world. The name Pluto was proposed by Venetia Burney, an 11-year-old schoolgirl in Oxford, England. Venetia was interested in classical mythology as well as astronomy, and she considered the name for the god of the underworld appropriate for such a presumably dark and cold world. She suggested it in a conversation with her grandfather, Falconer Maiden a former librarian at the University of Oxford's Bodleian Library. Maiden passed the name to Professor Herbert Hall Turner, who then cabled it to colleagues in the United States. Pluto officially became Pluto on March 24, 1930. The name was announced on May 1, 1930, and Venetia received five pounds as a reward. Did you learn something new about why Pluto is not a planet that you didn't know before? We hope you did. So, if you're interested in learning more amazing knowledge and history about planets, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to comment your views on this. Thanks for watching to the end.